In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to integrate Font Awesome icons into your site without using a plugin, just using the code right from the Font Awesome site. Then I'm going to show you how to pick an icon and how to manipulate it with the built in features that come with Font Awesome. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's get in the screen capture and start integrating Font Awesome icons. I'll see you there. To add Font Awesome icons to your site without a plugin, we have to add some code to your site to pull in those icons. And the best place to add this code is a child theme. If you don't have a child theme or don't know what it is, the reason we have one is if there are theme updates for your parent theme, those can break any code additions you make. So if we add this code to the header file or the functions file on the parent theme, and an update comes through, it can take out the code we added. So then all your font awesome icons would be broken all over your site. Using a child theme, when the parent theme is updated, the child theme stays the same. So if we add this code to the functions file that we're gonna add in just a second, a parent update is not gonna affect it. So that's why we use child themes. They reduce the amount of headaches you can potentially have with your website. If you don't know how to make a child theme, I've linked to a recent tutorial down below to show you how to make one. Now we're gonna add this code to the functions file and start doing these font awesome icons. So we're gonna head over to appearance and then editor. This will show us a list of files in our child theme. You can also get here through the cPanel file manager or through FTP, whatever you're most comfortable with. This child theme currently has a style sheet and a functions file and that's it. We head over to the functions file, we're gonna paste in this code, and you can get this code off of our website as well. I've linked to it down below. And it's basically enqueuing this style sheet, it's adding this style sheet to the header of our website. And it's pulling in version 4.7.0 of Font Awesome. Version 5.0 is gonna be released soon. It's a free upgrade, though they also have a pro version if you wanna get a pro version. But most of the Font Awesome icons are free and they like they will remain free for a long time. The drawback of adding your font awesome icons through this method is this link will have to be updated. For example, if 4.7.1 comes out, we have to change this code to that and then save it. And that would add the new functionality for the new font awesome icons. However, this 4.7.0 is gonna be around for a long, long time, so you don't ever have to change it if you don't want to. It's just if new icons are added, you're gonna to have to update this CSS or this uh, URL to get the new icons. Conversely, on the plugin tutorial, it pulls in the newest version of Font Awesome on its own every time. So you don't have to do this update. Anyhow, now we have this code or the CSS being pulled into our site. If we go to pages and then add new, I'm just gonna add a page called Font Awesome Icons and we can start adding icons to this page. To find out how to add them, we go over to Font Awesome Dot io go to icons either click on all icons or go to a subcategory if you know exactly where you want to go I'm just going to click on all icons it shows all 675 icons in the library as of this recording we're going to choose recycle you choose any one of them click on them and here's some examples of what they look like and this is the code we want to grab right here it's going to copy this code paste it in here save this page, view the page, and now we have our recycling icon right here. And you might notice these are all different sizes. If you wanna make yours bigger or smaller, you can do that via CSS, or we added an extra class called FA-2X. And this will be the same class we add to any class set for any icon that we wanna make two times bigger than the original size. But if we click on update and then go out and refresh this page, this icon is gonna be double the size now. There it is, double the size. We can make this bigger as well. We can go 2x, 3x, 4x, or up to 5x, which is the biggest. Click on update for the 5x and then refresh this page. This is our biggest version of this icon. They go a lot bigger here. You have to use manual CSS to scale up to this big, but with the font awesome icon class with the X's, you can go up to five times which is usually big enough for most cases. There's a bunch of other things you can do with your font awesome icons, not just add the icon itself, even though that's a cool function and cool ability to do that. If we go to fontawesome.io forward slash examples, we see there's a lot of different things that you can do. Here's the making them larger, all the way up to 5X. 
You can make them fixed width, so that if certain icons have a different width than others, they don't surpass a certain width, which helps for lining up menu items like you see here. You can have icon lists, just using this code. All you gotta do is copy and paste the code and make it super easy to incorporate this stuff on your site. We can just replace this right here with anything on here. So address book, we just double check. It's fa-address-book. We just replace this part with that and then we have the address book icon. You can add borders. You can pull them to the right or to the left using this class. So the text wraps around it. They have animated icons, which is actually a subcategory of this list here. If you go to icons, and then we have spinner icons here. These are the animated ones. Some of these don't work on some browsers, so you have to try it and test various browsers. They work on most. They, they work on all the newer browsers. Some older browsers can't handle it though. You can rotate easily just by adding FA-Rotate-90 or 180 or 270 or flip horizontal or flip vertical to rotate the icons a certain direction. You can stack them like this if you want to stack them. I can't think of a whole lot of use cases for that. But if you do want to do that, just copy and paste this code, replace it with the icons you want to stack. Super simple. If you do work with Bootstrap, here's some examples on how to add icons to Bootstrap elements. So all this little garbage can, this, this cog right here, this flag, these alignment images, those are all font awesome icons that are just added to these buttons. You can use custom CSS, obviously, because you can CSS almost anything, but you can do cool things like these star ratings. When you hover over them, you get these star ratings with custom CSS. Accessibility minded, basically accessibility is making sure that everybody can use it. So you, you do that by using Font Awesome because it's built that way with accessibility in mind, but you also have to test it to make sure it works on your site using various browsers and things like that. That's all the examples of the font awesome they have listed here. I'm sure you can think of some more yourself, but that's a lot of stuff you can do really, really easily with these awesome icons that are scalable, simple, pre-made for you, and really level up the appearance and use of your site. So that's how easy it is to integrate Font Awesome. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can learn even more, get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.